Hey everybody, uh, before I get started I'm going to have to apologise for the background noise. Um, the thing that sounds like a squeaky hamster wheel is actually my ceiling fan. Normally I turn it off when I record because it's so noisy, but um, it's getting to the point where I can either have less background noise while I record videos, or I can avoid my computer setting my room on fire. So, I think I'll take the safe option there. Anyway, we find ourselves on Malinovka encounter with JC Falkenberg in a T-54 and Emmy in a T-30. I have brought my trusty Centurion. And yet again, 9.4's replay bugs make themselves evident, in fact more so in this than my previous replays. With any luck, somebody from Wargaming will watch this and figure out what the problem is. I take a bit of a risk staying on the high side of this hill, but it soon pays off as I make a completely bullshit shot on that Wheezy 131. Did not expect that to hit at all. JC takes the left, I take the right. The enemy T-54 is up. And I put a shot into him. Now the enemy bat chat arty probably is loaded about now. And so I want to stay moving and try and be a little unpredictable. The T-32 doesn't learn from the T-54's mistake. And so I give him a hit in his side as well. The E-3 is lit but he doesn't have a shot on me at the moment. I hear him fire here, so I reckon I'm safe to drive out and get one on the T-32. Nope. The enemy JP actually had an angle on me from the forest down probably near the IS-3's position. The enemy Artie takes a shot at me. Swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. Which is a good thing, because if that hit me, I would be dead. And now he's lost sight of me, he starts going for the Conqueror. Now I'm not about to stay in a position where I've just taken a 1052 damage hit. So I start moving more towards the west side of the hill, towards our own spawn. Reason being, I want to see if I can get shots on the cap, and I want to see if I can get shots on this guy, this bat chat down here. Who is going to be a nuisance in that position? JC goes down to try and bully him. I see an opportunity for a shot on the tortoise. RNG is nice to me, and I'm able to not only hit him, but also slightly high roll. Unfortunately, before I can be reloaded again, he, swap, no, he uh, sorry, moves behind the rock in with the JPE. So I swap targets to that chat. Get a nice little opportunity shot in on him. And then I begin shifting back up the hill to see what else I can get shots on, or if I can get a better angle on the back. The enemy are trying to cap fast, they have Wheezy 131 in cap, but it is of course in counter, so cap fasting isn't a viable strat at all. The Wheezy looks like it's being dealt with, so I go for the ISU, who is presenting an easy broadside target, and who is not being supported by his team, they're too busy hiding behind a rock. Now here I see a chance to get a hit on the Wheezy. I actually bounce off his turret, but R1375 manages to land a killing blow. And here's another chance at the ISU. That's one less big gun to worry about. Still looking for shots on these guys behind the rock, it's not happening. Neither are shots on the ST1, who is behind another rock. But it looks like my team is handling them fairly comfortably. Meanwhile, the enemy Centurion and Waffentrager, as well as the 140, have pushed in from the south. Take a snapshot of the bat chat. It wings the back of his tank. I think it might have critted his track, but without actually destroying it. Either way, he begins clipping into JC. I'm trying to get a shot here, but even though I do get one in eventually, it low rolls and JC is clipped by the bat. The 
Now our waffle is hiding behind the church, which is a big problem because it allows the scent and the 140 to actually push around to uh, the right side of his position behind him without being spotted. In fact, the 140 isn't lit until it starts putting shots into him. Now I have a slight hold down position from the 140 but it's not going to last long as he pushes further up towards me. So I begin reversing up the hill to try and find a better piece of terrain to work on. This mound in front of me will have to do for now. And so I pop up to see what I can see. The bat chat, as a matter of fact. Take a big risk and drive out to get the shot in. I do take a hit from the 140, but I'm able to take the bat chat's gun out of the game. Now I risk taking another hit here, and this could potentially be a killing blow from the object 140, but I wanted to try and get a shot into that scent and finish him. Unfortunately, my shot missed. While Emmy aims at the scent, I'm back into this little gully here. Emmy manages to finish him off, and so the 140 begins running back down towards the cap. Waffentrager hasn't been spotted for quite a while, but it's a fairly safe assumption he hasn't really moved very far. And so as our 1375 holds on to the cap and gets reset, I begin shifting towards the southwest, trying to get around behind the 140, uh, who appears preoccupied with trying to reset cap right now. I do have shots on him, so I get one in there. He tracks me, I repair, but unfortunately I am now in sight for the Waffentrager. Now I am hull down to the 140, but the shot misses. And before I can get another hit in, boom, Vulcan Trader kills me. And here's a particularly interesting bug. Um, my, I, I wasn't zooming out, my camera just randomly started flying out. And this is only in the replay, in game it appears normal. So, um, fix your shit, Wargaming. Actually, if I just hit the time acceleration here, because nothing interesting really happens from this point on, You'll be able to see, uh, as I'm spectating the E50M, I wasn't zooming my camera out or adjusting it at all, um, but the game just randomly decided to zoom all the way out. Like so. This wasn't my doing, it's just part of the replay bug. Now, I'm not sure how Wargaming managed to break replays this badly, but obviously they uh, need to work on their regression testing, because this should have been picked up this definitely should have been picked up before 9.4 hit the server. I mean, this is just kind of ridiculous. Um, on some level, at least, it's not a major gameplay impacting bug. You know, if it was, if this kind of thing happened in an actual battle, you'd have a serious problem. Although I did notice my tank rubber banding a lot more in actual fights, not nearly as badly as in the replays here. But this is still a pretty major fault, especially when you consider the number of YouTube users who basically uh, record their replays and upload them. I mean, at the sort of lower end of the scale, we've got people like me. But then you've got some of the game's uh, most, I guess, best known players. Uh, you know, you've got like Quickie Baby and Jingles and that, and they do record their games from replays. And so all their viewers, which is a lot of people, are going to be exposed to this wonderful new bug that Wargaming have somehow managed to introduce to the game, and it's going to make it look really, really shitty. Um, particularly if they aren't, you know, experienced World of Tanks players and they don't realise they're watching a replay rather than live gameplay. It just isn't a good look. I'm hoping that this gets hot fixed because I really don't want to have to wait until 9.5 hits for this to be fixed. Um, unfortunately, Given Wargaming's track record with previous replay affecting bugs, um, like the auto-aim bug, probably this won't get fixed properly until 9.6 or 9.7, which is a real shame, and I really hope I'm wrong on that. Because, I mean, this is 
the aspect of the game that a lot of people are going to see before they even get into a match and it can really make a big impression on somebody if the first thing they see is a really buggy broken replay system. Anyway, thanks for watching and putting up with my bitching about Wargaming's lack of, uh, of adequate QA right after in fact Storm was quoted as saying they think they have some of the best QA in the industry and perhaps not. I wish you the best of luck in the field and I'll see you next time, hopefully with a little less squeaky fan in the background.